Here we are guys, we're at the Tapco Lodge. The cabins and everything are up there. I don't think we took the trail per se, but we might as well have. Looks like we're here. We're gonna go on 129, pick up the Benton Mackay Trail. Right around here. So, um, just a note, it's confusing in this area. No blazes. I just don't know. The guide uh, wasn't the best in this section, unfortunately. I got lost. And maybe it's on me. I'm not that great of a hiker. My sense direction isn't the best. But basically, you come to that intersection where I showed with the Tapco Dam overlook and uh, Tapco Trail and Yellowhammer Trail going back. We just took. Uh, right, trying to remember, right down to the creek. We camped there, and then we just walked down that creek road, past some structures, past a huge building that looked like a, a movie theater. We, um, what else? We passed some tennis courts and some old buildings, and then we started getting to the... Oh, look at this. All right guys, so that's Tapco Lodge. This is 129. You take a right out of Tapco Lodge right there. You come down to this uh, road. It's called Meadow something. I can't remember. It starts with an M. You go up very little. And there's a, a bridge here. Well guys, this is our first view of the trip given the weather yesterday. Man, this would this would be the place to put your hammock. Mm -hmm. Hang right between his oh. <laughs> Someone on Blood Mountain showed me that, like right almost right off the ledge, kinda like this. Even a little more sketchy. I'm gonna have to come back just to do that. Wow. Okay. What a nice view. Guys, look at this view. Unfortunately I've had to switch to my camera phone. Last time I did this, it got really jumpy on me. My camera died. I must have left it on last night. But here's another nice little view. Shortly after that last view. All right, over note. All right, guys. So the trail comes from down there. Come to this open area. And I'm guessing, I looked back at the tree and you see that sign right there. I'm guessing the trail continues right across. Yeah, there's a sign up there. Perfect. After a short little climb, the trail continues up that way and come to this area for a little camping spot. So coming out of Tapico, it's a huge climb. It's steep, but it's short, I should say. Um, but it'll make you take a break. It's steep. Then it levels off. You get on top of the ridge, you get some views, and it levels off. And then you climb just a little bit to get to here. All right, over and out. Guys, so trail crosses this road here and it looks like it just goes off to the other side. All right, over and out. All right guys, so we followed this uh, gated forest road up for quite a bit. And then the trail jettisons off to your left. It looks like there's a nice little steep climb there. And it probably gets on that ridge line and climb some more. All right, over and out. All right, guys. So you come to this, uh, you're going to be ridge blocking short up and short down. And it's going to be one of the most scenic locations. You're just seeing ridge lines everywhere you go. And the trail just crosses this old forest road and continues up. And the trail for now is a short series of short up and downs. It's not too bad. All right, over and out. All right, guys, so you climb up a steep mountain with a lot of switchbacks. And uh, you come to this open area for, I guess, a possible campsite. I think there's an old forest road going down there. But as you can see, you got a sign up there telling you where, they, where to go. All right, over and out. As, this, as you hike, it's a series of tough up and downs. I mean, really tough. But you're just in the ridge line. 
and you got views as you hike. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, over and out. You'll see these little signs along the way. Nice little campsite here. Dry, of course. This section doesn't have much water unless you're willing to go pretty far off the trail, which I'm not. All right, over and out. All right, guys, we come to this old forest road. Here's the sign. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go down there or up here. We're going to go up. I'm pretty sure it's up, but I'm, I'm just not sure. We'll figure it out. All right, over and out. So you keep going straight on that once you get to that forest road. You got a nice little campsite here, a nice little view. I mean, it's just beautiful on this ridge line. All right, guys, over and out. Alright guys, so after, shortly after the uh, Overlook Rock, you come to this intersection here. Do not go up. You'll see a sign on your left for the Benton Mackay. 1.7 to Fontana Village. Alright, over and out. Alright guys, so you come down off of Green Gap, I believe. It's pretty steep in a lot of areas. But you come to this area here, and you can see the road just below. So, all right, over now. All right, guys. So you come to this little, like, four different ways. There's a trail right there, the middle trail, and a trail up there. Up there, there's a sign with an X in the wrong way. Below, there's nothing, but the middle one seems to be right. It has a trail sign. All right, over now. Guys, the trail comes from down there. You'll have some kind of power structure, I guess, right here. And continues down this way. Alright, over and over. This Y intersection here. The road is down there. And I guess the access to the village, Fontana Village. And you're going to continue going up. You'll see a blaze there, so you take the right of the Y. Alright, over and over. So this is the... Levelin Cove Loop Trail, where it intersects Levelin Trail. And there's a sign here. It tells me we gotta go up there. Alright, over. This is the best site I've ever seen. I've come probably 11 miles. This is the first site of water I've seen. It wasn't, you know, half a mile off the trail. Oh, you gotta love water, man. Alright, over and out. Alright guys, we're at the intersection of Levelin Cove Loop Trail. BMT continues that way. Here's a sign. Over and out. Alright guys, so you come to this old gravel road here. You can see, you don't go up there. Continue this way. I think we're about 0.7 from the AT. All right, over and out. Guys, here we are at the intersection of the BT. And the AT, 1.2 miles to Fontana Dam Shelter, 1.5 to the Visitor Center. Oh, 45 minutes, we're out. All right guys, over now. All right, DMT crosses Highway 28 to the Marina. One point four miles to the visitor center. Looks sounds good to me. Alright guys, over and out. Alright 
Alright guys, that's the marina down there, the launch point. The AT, look at the rocks. You'll see the white blaze there, you'll see a white blaze here. And Jettison's back in the woods up there. Alright guys, over and out. Nice little view of Fontana and the mountains in the background. Alright, over and out. Look at this guys. So So the ATBMT drops you off right here. That's the Fontana Hilton. A very huge shelter. And they call it the Hilton. It's right above here. They uh, have bathrooms with running water and I think a place to take a shower. Look at this view. Right. So guys, from the Fontana Hilton, you go up the paved road, Follow the blazes, and you get onto this uh, Fontana Dam Road, I believe. And just walk along the sidewalk, and you'll get to the visitor center. Um, yeah, hang a right onto Fontana Dam Road, and you'll see an occasional blaze letting you know where to go. Alright, over and out. Here we are, this is the parking lot to the visitor center. There's a parking lot. Like a surplus or overflow parking lot over here. And the visitor center is to our left with the bigger parking lot. There it is. That's the visitor center. Alright guys, it ends this hike.